Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. These actresses were once hot on the movie set and there was rarely any blockbuster movie that didn't feature them. Unlike some other actresses like Tony Abraham, Biola Adekule and a host of others who got married and had their kids and still had a very thriving career without taking any break. Those seven Yoruba actresses actually quit the industry right after they got married. Let's get to know these actresses and a little about their background. The first actress is Shola Ashideko, who is popularly known as Abemi. She was born in Lagos State to Reverend Dr. Henry and Mrs. Esther Ashideko. She's a Nigerian actress and has featured in more than 30 home videos. Shola is the sixth in a family of eight children, six girls and two boys. She grew up in Lagos State and attended Somori Comprehensive High School in Ogba, Ifako Ijai, and also University of Lagos in Akoka, where she studied theatre arts and later on, and later on, she got a master's degree in public administration. Prior to acting, Shola worked in a production company for a while. She also had the National Youth Service in Akwa Ibom State. After her service, she worked at Indicator Media Producing Magazines. After her service, she worked at Indicator Media where they produce magazines for the Lagos State Government. She began acting professionally in the year 2006. She had already acted in several movies before she was given the lead role in the movie Abeni that transformed her career. It was in the year 2006 that she featured in this movie Abeni and that movie made her a household name and she became a choice of Tunde Kilani in his award-winning film titled The Narrow Path, where she also played the lead role of a village girl who must choose between two suitors. After that, Shola Shideko featured in several Nigerian films and soap operas. Fortunately or unfortunately, this sultry actress stepped aside after she got married and became a mother. This was in the year 2011. The second actress is Mistura Asuram. Mistura is popularly known as Fali. She's a Nollywood actor and a movie producer. She's from a Muslim background and a family of seven. She's the second child in that family. She was born and bred in Lagos State. She attended Our Lady of Apostle Primary School in Yaba for primary education and then Baptist Girls College in Idiaba Abekuta for secondary school education. It was after that that she proceeded to Olambisi and Obanjo University where she studied mass communication. She also has a diploma in marketing. And apart from this, she also studied ticketing and reservation at the School of Aviation. And she's also a member of APCON. So how did she get into the industry? She started with English movies and featured in some movies and soap operas like Love or Pride, Super Story, Daddy's Girl, and so much more. Later on, she joined Ogabelo's Kakos known as Awada Keri Keri in the year 2002. The movie that shot her into the limelight was Omota Mbaje by Ogabelo. She also produced a movie where she played Fali Ulumi. If she was not an actress, she would have been a broadcaster. Her inspirations in the movie industry are Shola Shobo Ali Ogabelu, Tonya Adibola, Joke Silver, and Ayo Adi Sonya, among others. Miss Tura got married in the year 2011 to a Nigerian journalist, which after a while, they relocated to the United States. She has been happily married since then, but her fame has faced off. And even though she still produces some movies in the United States, she's no longer a top A-list actress as she once was. The other actresses, Arike Akinyonju, who is also known as Arike Abiodun or Arike Abiodun Best. Arike Abiodun is originally from Oyo State and she started acting professionally in the year 2006 under the platform of Adeba Yotijani Movie Productions. She has since starred in several movies, some of which were produced by Fetia Williams. However, she got shot into the limelight to the role in Enju Eledu Mari. Arika is not just an actress, she's also a filmmaker and a producer. Also, before she started acting professionally when she was in secondary school, she used to be part of their theater group and she also used to act in churches. Arika featured in a lot of blockbuster movies, including Enju Eledu Mari, Angelimi Omo, Ifemi Ejika, Opo, among others. She even earned a lot of awards and nominations. Also, her role in Enyujo Lidumare earned more awards and nominations, such as Best of Nollywood Award, 
most promising act female 2012 nomination yoruba heritage awards best upcoming actress of the year nigeria entertainment awards best indigenous female actor nominee Maya Awards, Best Actress Yoruba, Nominee, Student Union Government Award, Taswed, Celebrity of the Year 2016, and so many other awards. Angel Dumari got married in the year 2017, started having a family, and since then has faced off from the movie scene. The fourth actress is Foluke Daramola Salako. Foluke Daramola was one of February 15. She's a graduate of Obafemi Awolowo University and she made her film debut in the series Palace in the year 1998. She has also starred in numerous movies. Her film Cobweb, which she produced and starred in, got her African Movie Academy Awards for Best Supporting Actress nomination. She noted that the film was inspired from her personal experiences as her parents didn't want her to delve into acting while she was in school. She's also the founder of Action Against Rape in Africa Initiative, which is a movement that seeks to curb rape and bring its perpetrators to book in Africa. In the year 2005, this actress got married to Baba Tunde Shubawali, but that union ended in 2008. Then she gave marriage another shot in 2013 and married her current husband Kayo D. Salako. These days, Fuluke Darmala is more active when it comes to taking care of the veterans in Nigerian movie industry. And she's no longer prominent on the movie scenes like she once was. The fifth actress is Ola Jumo Ademumi. Olaju Adewumi is from Ilaro in Ogun State. She was born and raised in Shomolu in Lagos State. She's the first girl in a family of eight and she has four younger ones and an older brother. Her childhood was tough. She has a diploma in accounting from the Owo Polytechnic Satellite Campus in Lagos. She also studied marketing at the Lagos State University in Ojo. She has been acting for a very long time because her mother, Mrs. Uluwaranti Adewumi, was an actress. As far back as 1995, she always went on location with her mother and she featured in some movies too. After some time, mother asked her to stop that she could concentrate on her studies, but she came back professionally in the year 2005 while she was still in Lasso. Professionally, her first movie was Ada Bani in 2005, which was directed by Ibrahim Chata, who also featured in the movie. She acted as his American girlfriend. She met her boss, Likonjo, popular called Batami, in the salon, so she told him about her interest in acting. The movie that brought her into the limelight was the movie 21 Years because after that production, that was when she started receiving calls for several jobs. She has since then featured in several jobs and produced some movies as well, including Oko Yinda. Olaju Wadewumi got married, then welcomed her son in February 2015 and relocated. She was silent for a while quitting the industry. And I came back and now she features in one or two movies from the United States of America. The sixth actress is Okbayemi Ayola. This popular actor and producer was away from the movie scene for a decade after she got married. She later resumed acting in 2017. She left the industry at the peak of her career in the year 2007. She had to relocate for marital reasons. She said when she left for UK, building a family together with her husband was a priority and she felt there is always time for everything. Nothing else was more important to her than her family. After raising her children, she thought the time was right for her to come back to Nigeria. So she came back to Nigeria to do more movies. She discussed with her husband and he was in full supports and she also tried to pick up from where she left 10 years ago. The seventh actress is Kemi Afolabi Adeshipe. This is the only actress that left the movie scene and came back like she never left. Kemi Afolabi Adeshipe was born on April 28, 1978. She went to Tumu Ashino Jan Primary School to receive her primary education and then Our Lady of Her Postal School and also A to Z International School for her secondary education. Later on, she attended University of Lagos where she received her LLB Honors degree in law. The first movie she featured in, in Yoruba was titled Alagba. However, not very long after that, Kemi Afolabi decided to take a break from acting, leaving the industry for nearly five years between 2008 and 2013. Well, that break did not have any negative impact on her career. On the contrary, while she was away, Kemi started writing scripts, but when she returned, she was ready to produce lots of movies. 
In the Agenda 16, our efforts were recognized as this actress won the Best Shuba Actress of the Year at the 2016 City People Awards, as well as Most Prominent Actress at the 2016 Old Drua Image Awards. In addition to that, she also received the Best Shuba Movie Producer of the Year Award at the City People Awards. Kemi has her own production company called Cassandra Entertainment. So these are the seven Yuba actresses you never knew actually quit acting for marriage. We have come to the end of this episode. We hope you enjoyed this episode and let's know two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily contents.